For the last fortnight, Romanians have been protesting against their government, firstly fueled by an emergency decree that bypassed parliament and could only allow criminal prosecution for cases involving sums greater than 44,000 euros. In a country that loses around 15% of its GDP to corruption, this does not seem as the best way to fight the disease. Citizens, moreover, saw that the government led by the left-wing Social Democrat Party was not trying to ease the overcrowding of prisons, as it was defended by them, but instead making sure hundreds of local and national politicians, mayors, judges, custom officials, heads of state-owned companies and institutions, all of them with great, great power and already convicted, were out of prison. We will talk to Lars Johansson. He's a professor at Aarhus University in the Political Science Department, and he will also give some more insight. What is corruption? It is not a simple question, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it, but it is, um, I mean, the standard way we used to describe it is that uh, there's misuse taking place, there's a misuse of public authority involved in the case. That is, you are giving someone a preferential treatment that they would not have unless they either bribed you or favored you into treating them in uh, this way. Mm -hmm. And this could be ranging from, from low examples like you pay the doctor a little bit to be moved up in the queue for the next surgery, or it could be related to kickbacks in major contracts involving defense expenditures. But basically, the principle is the same. It's no longer an impartial public service. If the government tries to infringe on the judicial system and the Romanian anti-corruption agency is a prosecutor's office, basically, and part of the judicial system in, 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 in Romania and the independence of that, uh, civil servants will think twice before they report because they will consider Will I uh, be punished at my work job? Will I be receiving the treatment of the cold shoulder in the mild case or maybe miss out on a promotion in, in the bit harder cases or maybe be fired? Mm -hmm. So the uh, civil servants of Romania must need to know that there is independence in the judicial system and that they will be protected when they come forth with information. So in that sense, it is a problem foremost role of an individual civil servant is not to take any bribes and of course uh, to report if, if they are approached or they see others uh, misusing uh, their power of authority. Uh, it is very important that there is a, not only a majority but a coherent group that are willing to be impartial and not accept uh, briberies and uh, other small favors in that sense they'll be doing because if it becomes it has to be the norm and only when you're in a majority it can become a norm uh, what direction do you think they should take to improve this situation well, first and foremost, I think that um, Romania obviously uh, could need uh, technical assistance. Uh, there are already some cooperation among uh, uh, the member states in exchanging um, uh, how you can uh, uh, investigate and how you can research the question of corruption, and that that could be extended. I, I'm not sure that you know harsh penalties like um, withholding funds will work in this case. It's more a question of saying, okay, if there, and perhaps this is also what you can question in the case of Romania, given uh, the emergency decree, is if there is a political will to root out the problem, then they should be offered help, not sanctions. If you allow people to be a little corrupt, right, when does it stop then?